I feel that the library is the heart of the school, heart of the community. It's the one place where I don't really have a lot of expectations for them. I don't grade them, I don't give out assignments. All I want them to do is to come in, find a book that they want to read and to read it. If you wanna tell me about it, that's great. I wanna create a place that everyone feels welcome that they feel accepted. Growing up, you know, as an Asian American, the only book that I read that looked like me was Five Chinese Brothers, and I was like embarrassed, I was embarrassed. So I want my students to be able to come to the library and find books that looks like them. In the educational world, they call it windows and mirrors. So I want them to have a mirror where they can see themselves reflected, their life experience, someone that looks like them. But I also, want them to find books that are windows, windows to other cultures, other experiences. So a couple of years ago, the district librarian said, hey, um, library maker spaces are, are this, this new thing, and do you want to start one? And it's very STEMI, science, technology, engineering, math, which I'm not. And so she was great. She just said, you know, do what you know. And I say, well, I like fiber arts. I like, you know, crocheting. And she said, go with that. So we just started with projects. I asked people on Facebook to donate yarn. Um, I started working with Donors Choose to fundraise for, for the things that we have. But I think we were all created to create. Um, it's, it's, it's a core part of all of us. So I want them to go, whoa, I can't wait. I can't wait to read. I can't wait to learn. I, I can't wait to explore the world. The world is huge, right? The books, our books only touch on a small percentage of, of what's out there. And so I want them to go out and, and seize the day. That's the kind of person, the kind of educator that I want to be.